you know, this is this is what I'm going to do, and then I'll probably trade off some more draft picks if I get even closer, and uh, then I'll quit the league after I win. Yeah, that's that's uh, about <laughs> that sounds about right. That sounds about right. That's almost what the guy did before, you know. So it's like this is just the championship team. You come in, you manage it one year. Um, unlike you know the prior manager, I will leave it in shambles. I'll do Dave Dombrowski. I'll sell off all my assets. Uh, win a championship and or try to and, and go somewhere else. Mm-hmm. Uh, Royals twenty nine, aka I believe Kevin, uh, says that would be a great uh, uh, broadcast, a, a live trade barrage broadcast. So, you know, most of these guys, actually, one of the guys, uh, Lindsay, uh, is the guy that chimes in on our PGA stuff sometimes at night. So, um, uh, maybe I could get him to call in. So. Yeah, or. Hey, we could do a, a you know the, in the draft for upside team that we have in in the uh, in the Lenny Melnick league. We could do you know trade talks on Wednesday, and then we could um, the next Wednesday after the players are actually available to us, we could you know talk about where we're going to slot them and if they're available to start, and you know take it from there. We could uh, at least one is in the chat room right now, Mister Cha Cha, of course, the commissioner of the great uh, uh, Lenny Melnick. Uh, uh, I don't know, friends and family league, shall we call it? Yeah, we just have to project the guys out for like a week or two, you know? Oh, like, that's right, yeah. <laughs> you accept the trade, they get hurt during the 10-day DL, they get off the DL before they even make it to your team. That's right, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> We're just poking fun, Cha-Cha, don't mind us. Uh, anyways, all right, let's talk about the uh, showdown tonight. I would I would like to because we, we had fun. Uh, I had fun last week. Um, I don't know about you, but I had fun. So uh, let's take a look at the first game, the 8.05 game. We're uh, running pretty uh, pretty close to, to lock time with that, aren't we? So let's take a look at that. What kind of game do we want to play? Do we want to play a $12? Sure, why not? How do you feel about the Chicago and Philly game? Yeah, I think the the right-handed guys in in the Chicago lineup, I mean, this is going to be an offensive one. This is probably one where I'm not including the pitcher on either team. Um, The hitting weather there, you know, stands to uh, reason that you're going to see uh, a relative or typically you're going to see 50 percent increases in home runs, given the the weather conditions, the wind. Um, I don't think it's... um, like a, a must stack one side or the other, but certainly my favorite plays would be Chris Bryant, Contreras. Um, you'd have to get some of the cheaper guys like Boat and whatnot, but um, you know Cesar Hernandez and Abdul Herrera, a couple of these guys on the other side. The question I guess I would have then with Herrera though is the left-handed hitter. He's going against Cole Hamels. It's probably not his strong suit. So um, yeah, I, it's just one of those things. That I don't know who you put in the in the captain slot. I think it's probably Chris Bryant or Contreras. If you you know put a gun to my head, or even if you just really sternly asked me which one I preferred, uh, I probably am going to go with Contreras. Mm-hmm. Well, Chris Bryant in the lineup, and uh, Contreras in the lineup means the other four players must average sixty three hundred, which is going to be very difficult. Well, I mean, look, you, you go with Contreras and, and you take a stand. I mean, you don't get a um, you don't get a Chris Bryant at that point. Um, or so you just show go you what with it like, looks the, like the the only guys you can choose if you put Chris Bryant in your captain and Contreras in your lineup. Uh, you've got a choice of your last four guys. You only have six guys to choose from, um, and that is a uh, Kingery, Schwarber, Boat, Franco. Uh, uh, Addison Russell. So, sorry, five guys. That's all you got. So, I wouldn't put uh, Bryant in the captain slot. I'd put Contreras in the captain slot. Let's see how that that's changes just, it. So, put that's Contreras you a in there. Little bit only, only saves you 600 bucks. So, uh, it changes nothing. It, there's still the same five guys are available. Yeah, I mean, maybe you take Brian out then. And, oh, I'm uh, sorry, you get Cesar Hernandez in instead of Boat if you uh, switch that around. Or one of those other uh, guys. You, yeah. I like Cesar Hernandez. I like him so, a lot. Yeah, the only other thing you could do there is, yeah, that's it. You could put uh, Hernandez in instead of Boat. And then, so your lineup would be uh, Contreras, Bryant, Kingery, Schwarber, Hernandez, and Franco. 
I, you know, you, I, <laughs> I don't know. I, I, you know, I like Contreras. That's, that's all I'm saying. Sure. I don't, I don't think you need, I don't need, I don't think you need Chris Bryant. I think you can go with some of those cheaper guys. Um, I think when you're getting into one of these, uh, single game slates, you're, you're just playing, you're playing lottery, especially if you're not playing with two good pitchers, like who's going to be the guy that hits the ball. And if we're talking about that, I mean, you know, let's take a quick meander into the Chicago hitters who I think have the better lineup, the right handed. Um, I don't know. I think you can actually go with either of them. Um, Chris Bryant, Javier Baez. I mean, geez, I don't know. Probably, how much cheaper is Baez than Bryant? 600. Well, that's another six hundred dollars there. I think uh, Contreras and the captain with Baez is uh, you know good with Caesar Hernandez. Maybe a little Kingery, a little uh, boat. Then, yeah, you can fit boat in there or or, or Kingery. Um, then you'd still be stuck with uh, Schwarber and Franco, or basically you got to put Franco or Russell in one or the other. I think you could put Russell in, or what you could do is you could go to baseballpress.com. You could look at their bullpen usage, and we could take a look at these teams. Let's see. So the Cubs, uh, let's see. Who, who, who might they pitch today? Let's see. So Carl Edwards pitched yesterday, and he's garbage. I mean, you might see a, a – Steve Sishik, maybe a, a Tyler Chatwood. Um, those would be the two guys from the, the Cubs that I would kind of target as a dart throw. Neither of them have thrown recently. Chatwood hasn't thrown since Saturday, and, and, and Chisick hasn't thrown since Sunday. Um, all the other relievers, with the exception of those two guys, have thrown in the last two days. Uh, you know, if Cole Hamels gets in trouble, which you're kind of counting on um, if you're not playing him, I believe Chatwood would probably be the long, long reliever. And so the you know, problem is, if, is Chatwood's more expensive than Russell or Franco. Well, then you go with Chisick. Um or Urban's not going to make it out of this game. It's... Okay, so my screen froze. I'm trying to get to the Phillies. We're going to just have to. Chiswick take a is moment. three thousand, so Chiswick would do the job. Yeah, and look, if the game ends up close, he's going to get the save opportunity. Um, I think I had him on a Sunday, this this past Sunday, I had him in my lineup uh, for my showdown, and he didn't get the save. I think that I, I think I've been running into this really weird situation where I'm getting the closer to come in, but they've had like four four run leads or more, so they don't get save opportunities, but you know, you get a couple strikeouts and some other things. So you still get some points. And especially at that lower price, it does give you a little more flexibility with the lineup. Well, if you take uh Chizik in, then you can get rid of Franco. You've got 8,800 to play with. So you can get uh, Segura, Elmora, Real Muto, Harper, Hoskins, uh, any of those guys. in. Yeah. I, you know, I like all of them. Uh, Real Muto, I, I think Hoskins presents a you know guy that's going to be highly owned. So maybe you kind of just you know fade him and hope that he doesn't do anything like he hasn't in a couple games. Uh, I think Segura gives you some you know not only power upside but you get some some speed on the bases, uh, extra base hits, some steals. Uh, you know, I think he's he's certainly a guy that um, I would be interested in. So the way that would turn out would be Contreras and your captain, Baez, Boat. Chizik, Hernandez, and Segura. Do it. Or you could take anybody under boat, which would be uh, Schwarber, Kingery, Russell, Franco. Hey, I'm just here to give you the options. I'm not, I'm not building the lineup for you. No, I, I just I tell you know that- like how it how it turns out when you switch these players in and out. So, yeah, it looks it looks good. Um, I like it. I'm gonna hit it. I hit submit. It's in. It's done. Moving on to the next game. All right. Uh, our co-host will be joining us soon, so we're going to get the next game out of the way here. So let me back into the next game, which is Atlanta versus San Francisco. How you feeling here? 
Um, you know, Michael Austin Riley, I like him. I like him as a, as a piece. I don't think he's your captain. Um, I think Freed's going to be your, your most obvious captain slot. And, you know, as a result, depending on how you want to play it, I think you could probably see you know, Freed's just a hard guy to stack against. Um, I don't know. I, I don't think you necessarily have to play him in your captain slot. I think that's the, the way that you get contrarian with it is, is you can still include him. I think he's going to have a good game almost no matter what. I think you include him with, um, uh, I don't know. I think maybe Acuna is, is a captain. Um, he's been just super hot. It's going to be super expensive, but yeah, he's 15,000 yeah. as the captain. Um, Yeah, these are all kind of in good spots here. I mean, I even like guys down in the eighth spot. Uh, Matt Joyce as a uh, as a spot to to throw down a power lefty who more than likely will strike out three times, but that fourth time you might get a home run. Uh, well, no, he probably won't get four at bats. Is the reality of it? Right. He's only going to get two or three at bats, so you, you better hope that he does something with it. You know, in the early portion. So, I don't know. I, I like the middle of the lineup here, of course. Freeman, Marcakis, Riley. Um, I don't even mind McCann in this uh, setting for 6,800. No, I love McCann. I would be all over McCann. Yeah. McCann, Riley, Acuna. Let's see how it plays out. Let me, let me see how this plays out. Of course, San Francisco's lineup has not been uh, entered yet. You gotta have one of their guys, I think. Do you have to at DraftKings? Do you have to play somebody from both sides? Yeah, you're gonna have to play at least one guy. So hey, you know, we were talking all that smack about Lemayhew, and uh, this dude hit a home run. Him and Estrada have both hit home runs. <laughs> yeah, I don't have either of those guys. The cheap Yankees. Daniel Murphy's hit, hit a home run today. Um. Trevor Story's got a little little traction. Colorado has done nothing, but that's okay. Or not Colorado, Pittsburgh's done nothing. Nothing going on in that Dodgers race game either. So uh, your, that's your just, is uh, given up two runs. Ah, uh, that's not surprising, you know. Who do you give him up to? Let me take a look. Uh, uh, Gordon Beckham. Beckham and had a double. Goodrum. John Hicks with a hit and a run. Daniel Norris has his one hitter going, two strikeouts, so that's pretty exciting for him. Yeah, yeah. I don't think I ended up with him. I did. I, I think I backed away. Anyways, let's complete Probably the this one out. Time so, I, um, Freddie Freeman too expensive right now. A ten two. Uh, look, I just don't want to play a lefty so much in Oracle Park. Right. That's tough. Do, 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 looking through here. I think you can... I just wish they had San Francisco's lineup. I'm going to have to look at this because i got to see who the value is on San Francisco to see where I could fit. I guess you could throw um, you know, a guy like... Uh, Mac Williamson in, who will probably be in the outfield, right? At 4,800? Yeah, or like a Crawford. Um, yeah. Pilar. You know, Pilar, I think, in a home run last night. And yeah, Pilar is going to be more expensive. 6,200. Yeah, I think I'm going to start with Mac Williamson and see how, how that goes. That's 4,800. That's nice. And I put Brian McCann in there at 6,800, so I've got some nice value. Uh, 9,600. So who's your captain pick? If it's not going to be Mr. Freed, you're thinking Acuna. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I would say Austin Austin Riley because I'm just you know super high on him. But um, he's also been getting yanked a, a little bit early for my liking and only getting three at bat. So. Mm -hmm. well, he's batting fifth tonight, so they didn't bury him down in the lineup. I'm going to put Acuna in there and see what ends up happening. So everybody else has to be below 7,800. Or 7,800 and below, I should say. They don't have to be. But uh, What about Ozzie Albies, switch hitter? But they put him down into seventh. 